Welcome back to our Getting Started with PyKX series. Next, I want to talk about the interactive learning environment, the Sandbox, that you'll be using to complete the code portions of this course. So when you enter the PyKX course within the KX Academy, open the first section and you'll be presented with all the course content. There are going to be two buttons available to you. The first button called Ask a Question. And this button will direct you to the KX community where you can then ask the questions that you might have about this course or other PyKX related topics. Now to launch the course, simply click the Launch PyKX Sandbox button. Once this is clicked, you'll be presented with a login page. Type your email and click login. And from there, you'll be sent a verification email where you can copy and paste the code in that email or click the link in that email to complete your login. And once your login is completed, you can then enter our JupyterLab environment where you'll see the notebook that we'll be walking through in this section of the course. So once JupyterHub is opened and we can open up our first notebook, PyKX Basics, Section 1, let's have a look within this environment to explore how to navigate it for the purposes of this course. And we'll begin in the upper right corner and we can see the kernel that is being run here. It's a Python kernel and that makes sense because we are going to be running Python code. Now in our notebook, there'll be two types of blocks. First code blocks, which have our actual code and then markdown blocks, which just have the directions and explanations of our code. And to run the code blocks, we can either click on the block and press this run button here or we can click on the block and press Control enter on our keyboards if you're interested in doing some additional experimentation you can easily create a new cell within this notebook where you can try out different pykx commands and to do that you just go ahead and click this plus sign and it will create a new code block below the current code block for you and you can type whatever code you want here. Now finally, throughout the sections, there will periodically be exercises for you to practice the concepts that we just talked about. For these exercises, simply read the directions and then in the code block below, you can come in and type your solution. And then when you're done, go ahead and click reveal solution to check your work. If you want additional resources to learn PyKX, please visit our documentation at code.kx.com. There, you'll have access to other in-depth and extensive learning materials, as well as additional code samples.